Today we are going to talk about Trex and Cedar Deccan. Hopefully to help you decide which decking material is going to be best for your deck. Before we do that, if we haven't met before, I'm Ryan from DecksbyE3.com, writer and publisher and builder of decks in Calgary, Alberta. So let's just start with a brief introduction before we discuss the appearance, durability, price, maintenance, and the warranty of each. Let's start with Trex. So Trex first came out in 1996. It's one of the original composite deck and material manufacturers. 1998, their patent in their board, their first patent on their boards, and now they have over 20 different colors available for you. One of the things that Trex's motto is to enhance the lives of people by engineering what's next in the outdoor living. So they really have a focus on seeing how they can improve your life by giving you products that are more durable outside and require less maintenance. Cedar is a natural product, so it doesn't have a company representing it, but it has long been a choice for, for decks. One of the things is cedar naturally is less likely to rot than your traditional pine wood or many other types of wood because of the residues within there. There is some argument and debate right now that that rot resistance isn't nearly as high now because we're harvesting younger trees and that residue has to build up over in the older trees which are no longer available for decking products. But hands down, my personal opinion as a carpenter, the beauty of cedar cannot be beat by composite. It's just a wonderful looking wood especially if you stain it with a clear coat or even a semi coat to just give it a slight color but still allow you to enjoy the different colors and patterns. It's just a simply an amazing looking deck and that I think is one of the biggest appeals to cedar decking. We'll get into price a little bit later but just right off the bat appearance is what sets apart cedar decking from Trex decking. You can, these boards aren't, but left out in the sun, you can allow cedar to gray, minimizing how much maintenance you have. So it has more of that rustic gray look. And of course, gray is one of the more popular colors in composite, including in Trex. But one of the problems if you allow your cedar to gray, you can never quite return it. You can use brighteners and you can do different chemical treatments on it to try to restore some of its natural beauty. But generally speaking, once you let your deck gray, you're forever going to have a gray deck. So let's compare some things about deck's durability. There, one of the big distinct difference between, let's say, a Trex Transcend Island Mist and Cedar is staining. With Trex decking, blob of ketchup lines on there, you grab a cloth, you wipe it off, it's cleaned up, it's done, will not stain your decking. The same cannot be said about cedar. Cedar is very receptive to stain, drop some ketchup on there, you're probably going to have a mark even if you wipe it up immediately. If you stain your deck regularly enough, it will decrease the chances of staining accidentally, but you still are going to have a, a problem. One of the big difference between Trex and cedar is the hardness of the material. I love working with cedar to build decks out of, but it is a very soft wood. You always have to be careful where you set your tools down and what you put on, because it's so easy to leave a mark. If you accidentally got a sh little rock in your shoe, you're going to see that throughout the deck when you walked on your decking. Where with Trex, because of its hard cap and just its solid core on the inside, you're less likely to leave a mark. Both can be scratched, both can be marked, but you're going to see a lot more marks on your cedar decking than you are going on your Trex. Just one more reason why, like if you have a big dog, Trex is probably going to be better for you than a cedar deck because their claws will just not mark nearly as much on a Trex than it will on a cedar deck. Overall though, Cedar is stronger in regards to bending, 
how much overhang you can have before it will break, how much pressure to deform it. It is a stronger material than your Trex material. Again, like I said, you can go to dexby3.com and I have all the stats and the charts there for you to see. With regards to price, we all have to pay for our things and it's a little bit harder to tell. For one, cedar varies a lot from what grade of cedar you buy and where you buy it from in the season. So in a ballpark, it's roughly going to be somewhere between two and four dollars a lineal foot for cedar. Depends where you are, when you buy it, and what grade. Personally, I would avoid almost anything closer to the two dollars because it's not really of a good tight See if I have a board with a tight knot. This one's a little bit dirty, but you don't want a deck board with a loose knot in there that's going to pop out and just make your deck look ugly. So you want to pay for the better quality cedar with the tighter knots, better wood patterns, and the finish. One of the nice things about cedar, especially new cedar, is the smell. I'm so reminded of that when I was cleaning up these boards again. And cedar just has that beautiful sauna smell. And composite doesn't have that. Trex just doesn't have it. But back to price. Trex Transcend most likely will cost you more than cedar. It's roughly about $5 a lineal foot, a little bit less, depends where you buy it from, but it's going to cost you more. Trex Select, which is different from Trex Send, in that it's just a little, see if I can get this to show here. Just a little bit thinner. It's seven eighths instead of the one inch. But this will probably cost you roughly about the same price as cedar, but cedar is going to be a little bit thicker, like I said, but more durable wood. On the other hand, the Trex Enhance with their scalloped bottom to reduce cost and material, makes it a little bit lighter, it's easier to install too. Not always, but often they'll be on the lower end of cedar. So if you're buying the economical cedar, the ones you shouldn't be buying for your deck, even then Trex, Trans, Trex Enhance, especially the basic series, is going to cost less than cedar. Like I said earlier, one of the appeals of cedar decking is it's naturally resistant to rot, which Trex also is. But one of the difference between the two, Trex has a 25 year warranty, structural warranty, it will not break for you, under normal wear and tear of course. It will only fave to a maximum of 5 delta E's and have minimal scratching and staining. Cedar has none of that. Nobody's given you a warranty for cedar. You might be able from individual stores, but overall, cedar is cedar. It's on you to take care of it. Where Trex, if you build a Tiki Torch deck and some strange reason, after three years of building it with a certified Trex installer, it fades or just deteriorates for who knows what reason. Trex will actually pay for not only the material, but based on what installer you use, up to five years pay for the labor to install the new decking which is incredible because installing the decking can cost as much or more than the actual material so it's phenomenal that Trex gives you not only the warranty for the material but for the labor but ultimately we're coming down to choosing which one would you rather have you want to have a cedar deck or a Trex deck. In my mind, ultimately it comes down to appearance. Like I said at the beginning, nothing competes the look of cedar. If you love the look of cedar, you love the smell of cedar, it's just a decking for you. If you are willing to do the maintenance to maintain your cedar deck, it is going to be an incredible 
lovely, beautiful space for you to enjoy outside. But, if you want to be one and done, if you want just a beautiful deck, grayed naturally, or comes gray actually, and you don't want to have to worry about constant maintenance, if you just want to be able to clean your deck once a year and enjoy it, you want to be backed by a 25 year warranty that for the 25 years it will be a great deck for you, Trex is probably going to be better for you. So I think that's what you just have to figure out is which one do you value more? Warranty and minimal maintenance or appearance? The choice is yours.